Hello friends, my name is Durga and uh, as part of Microsoft Windows for IT Professionals playlist uh, today I will be talking about setting up the uh, VM, VMware on your laptop. So uh, these days uh, if you have VMware on your laptop uh, which, uh, which helps you to virtualize uh, and create virtual machines to explore any technology. Once you have uh, VMware, you can set up Windows, Linux, or anything, and uh, then you can install uh, databases, you can install uh, um, application software, you can install anything on those, and um, you can actually get a feel of your production environment uh, before um, actually st uh, started deploying into production. Also, you can explore any technology for almost free if you have VMware on your uh, uh, laptop. So there are multiple uh, uh, companies which provide uh, these things. Uh, the top most uh, comp the top most product in this space is uh, provided by a company called VMware, and uh, they have products called uh, VM Player, VM Workstation, etc. And also there is another famous and free software called Oracle VirtualBox, which is actually provided by um, Oracle. It was originally provided by Sun Microsystems and Sun, Sun Microsystems got acquired by Oracle and now Oracle also supports or provides Oracle VirtualBox. And also there are other free, not so very famous uh, uh, VM technologies. So for this uh, uh, video, I will be talking about VMware Workstation um, the, uh, for, for Windows. Um, if you want to, to see the counterpart for VMware Workstation, it's VMware Fusion for uh, Mac. So if you are using Mac, you have to set up VMware Fusion. If you are using Windows, you can set uh, you can use VMware Workstation. VMware also provide a, provides another software called VMware Player, uh, which is not very flexible when it comes to setting up VMs. Uh, I am using VMware Workstation. Most of the concepts are same between VMware Player and VMware Workstation. Only difference is the user interface. VMware Workstation's interface is much, much better than VMware Player. Okay. So to first uh, uh, download and install, you can go to Google and uh, search for VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation 11 is the latest one and uh, these softwares from VMware are not free. Um, they cost around uh, $50 to $100 uh, depending upon the deals uh, um, and at the time you try to download you might get a deal and uh, you might get it for a cheaper price but typically it varies from $49.99 to $99.99 for individual license. So you can click on uh, uh, the latest one, download VMware Workstation 11. And uh, you can click on, yeah, click on get free trial so that you can actually try for one month before buying a license. Okay. Once you click on uh, get free trial, it will show this window. You can click on download now. It is around 300 MB. You can click on save file and uh, uh, I have already downloaded, so I'm not clicking on that. Once it is downloaded, it will look like this VMware workstation full uh, blah, blah, blah. And to install it, you just click on uh, the open folder and uh, double click on VMware Workstation full and click on yes. It will install the software. Just accept the terms. Click on next. And uh, click on typical. I don't want to check for product updates. So you can leave them as is. Yeah, I want to help improve VMware Workstation, so I, I don't mind anonymous system data, so I, uh, I'm not uh, unchecking that. I don't want mm, my desktop to be cluttered, 
and I don't want it in the start menu so I just click on next and continue I'm pausing it for it is still installing um, and uh, I will pause until the installation is done and I will come back and uh, talk so installation is done and uh, you will see this window click on finish and once it is finished because I don't have desktop on the if you ha if you click on keep it on desktop you might see an icon in desktop but I didn't do that so in Windows 8 what you have to do is you have to click on search and then you can start typing VMware workstation yeah. and then you can click on it that's fine click on ok and uh, uh, typically when you click on uh, uh, the icon for the first time it will ask you to enter the license in my case it didn't ask because uh, yesterday only I uninstalled uh, uh, VMware workstation and uh, again installing today and uh, I think it uh, uh, it actually uh, continue the trial version but as we are using trial was trying to use trial version uh, the first time it will ask you to either enter a license or uh, to try it uh, for a month and if you select to try it for a month uh, it will ask you your email uh, id and you have to provide your email id so that you can uh, uh, use the vmware workstation further so once you you install it you can uh, uh, um, you, you will see this uh, once you installed it and once you uh, agree on that you will see a, a vi uh, window like this and from here you can create a new virtual machine um, and uh, you can uh, start playing with it okay so that being said we are done with uh, setting up our VMware workstation in the next video what we will see is how to set up a uh, Red Hat uh, or CentOS Linux virtual machine uh, on this VMware workstation and uh, uh, and uh, actually uh, the whole idea behind uh, creating this playlist is to explore new technologies and uh, for each technology or for, uh, for each group of technologies it's better to create a template and use the same template for uh, uh, VMs whenever you want to explore a technology. For example, if you want to set up your laptop for big data group of technologies like Hadoop, Cassandra, MongoDB, etc., most likely all these technologies require same set of prerequisites uh, like uh, uh, having Java and some pre uh, system configurations and all those things. So when you do that, uh, uh, w when you want to uh, explore those technologies it's better to create a template VM uh, base template VM and build on top of it if you go in a hierarchy uh, starting from template and, uh, and then the next level uh, uh, group of uh, uh, VMs and uh, uh, if you want to create next level of VMs create another template uh, uh, at the uh, level one so uh, like that if you if you build your VMs in a proper order over time your productivity uh, uh, will improve and you will be able to explore more and more technologies so we will follow a process uh, for that in the next video we will see how to build a uh, simple CentOS VM as a template uh, there will be series of videos not one video we will see how how we can achieve that uh, i hope you enjoy the uh, this video uh, most of the people might already be aware of this 
uh, and uh, 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 but uh, there might be people who are not aware of VMware Workstation and I'm making this video for them. If you like this video, please uh, like it uh, sub uh, and uh, sh share the content with others and uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, thank you. Bye.